Welcome to KDD Training Solutions. Myself Mohan. In this video, let us discuss some problems based on mixer and allegation. Before entering into the problems, let me explain what is the main role of allegation in solving the weighted average problems. Now let us assume you have two varieties of rice. So variety 1 of some kilogram and variety 2 of a different kilogram. Let us assume you don't know how many kilogram of variety 1 and how many kilogram of variety 2 is available but you know the cost price of first variety is rupees 9 per kg as well as the cost price of second variety is rupees 13 per kg for an example right so first variety cost rupees 9 per kg and the second variety cost rupees 13 per kg now your plan is to mix both the varieties and to obtain an another variety let it be variety 3 of cost price rupees 10 per kg right so you are taking some kilogram from the variety 1 rice and some other kilogram from variety 2 rice and mixing both and you have to obtain rupees 10 per kg so here the question is in what ratio you have to mix both to obtain rupees 10 per kg so here you have to use the allegation rule so here the allegation rule is you have to draw a structure like this right so here the structure goes like this so usually people say some formulas like cheaper minus cost layer divided by cost layer minus cheaper but you don't need to go for that so just you have to use a structure like this now you have to look the number diagonally so if you look the right hand diagonal you will get 13 and 10 so which number is greater 13 so 13 minus 10 you will get 3 right and you have to look on the left hand diagonal on the left hand diagonal the greatest number is 10 so 10 minus 9 you will get 1 so you have to mix variety 1 and variety 2 in the ratio 3 is to 1 that means if you take 3 kilogram from variety 1 and 1 kilogram from variety 2 you will get 4 kilogram and the cost of each kilogram will be rupees 10 per kg I hope that you are getting my point right even if you don't know the total quantity in variety 1 and variety 2 you can easily find the total ratio by using allegation rule now let us enter into some problem right so let me solve the first question the first question is average age of boys is 20 years and that of girls is 25 years if average of the class is 23 years what is the ratio of boys towards girls so in this question you don't know the total count of boys and girls as well as the total count of class but you know the average of boys is 20 and girls 25 and the class 23 years now if you if you are not using the allegation rule if you go by the basic principle so you tend to solve the problem in this way since you don't know what is the total number of boys you assume the total number of boys to be x or you can call it as b for your easy reference and total number of girls as g since you know the average age of boys is 20 years to find the total age of boys you have to the total sum of boys you have to multiply the total number of boys with the average age of boys so 20 into b and the total sum of age of girls is 23 into g and the total sum of class is 20b plus 23g and the average age of class is 23 years now you know the total sum of class is 20b plus 23g and the total number of students in the class is only boys and girls right so it is b plus g and the average age of the class is 20 3 years I am sorry I mistakenly wrote it is 20 it is not 23 it is 25 g right because in the question it is given the average age of girls is 25 years so it is 25 g now you have to solve this operation you will get 20 b plus 25 g equal to 23 b plus 23 g so bring 20 b to the right hand side you will get 3 b and 23g to left hand side you will get 2g so b by g you will get 2 by 3 
the ratio of boys and girls is 2 is to 3. So if at all there are 5 people in the class, 5 students in the class, boys will be 2 and girls will be 3. So this is the traditional method of solving this problem. If you use the allegation rule, you can come up with the answer in less than 30 seconds. Let me show you how. So in the question, it is given, you have only two units, boys and girls. The average age of boys is 20 years and average age of the girls is 25 years. And the average age of class, that is, the average age of both boys and girls is 23 years. So which I mentioned, it is total average of the class. So which is 23 years so this 23 is the weighted average or we can call it as the mixed average right so we have to use the allegation rule so the allegation rule goes like this right so 20 25 23 you have to cross subtract with the average so 25 and 23 the greatest number is 25 so 25 minus 23 you will get two parts and 23 20 so 23 minus 20 you will get three parts so the ratio of boys and girls is 2 is to 3. So, however, you will get the same answer. So, one thing you have to always keep in mind is the weighted average lies between the lower unit as well as the higher unit. I hope that you are understanding my concept right. Now, if you hold any doubts, please mention in the comment. So, before closing this video, subscribe my channel and like the video and share it to your friends. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.